Hey guys, welcome back to another Coding Flamingo video. Today we're going to look at how to deploy Helm and get a certificate and TLS and Nginx and all that stuff and basically get your app up and running in um, EKS, Elastic Kubernetes Service from AWS. Um, so I went ahead and did some of the stuff that takes too long, but everything is uh, in this file. So basically you'll need the, and all this is in the GitHub down below. So, and this will be all one commit. So you'll be able to see it. Um, so you have the EKS deploy. Here I select my region, VM size, cluster name. Then I create the cluster and then I update my config. This is, this allows me to interact with uh, the cluster once it's created. Um, and then in here, I'm just adding Helm. So Helm, if you don't have it, you, you have to install it, but basically it's kind of like a cookbook. It allows you to kind of like merge a bunch of Kubernetes uh, YAMLs and you, you can have values and stuff like that. And I'll go through kind of like some of our Helm, Helm recipes in there. Uh, however, we're adding kind of like uh, well, first we're adding Helm and then we're adding Jetstack, which is uh, our certificate manager. So it actually works kind of magically. Um, you have your web server and it'll go and request a certificate. And then the CA, in this case, we're going to be using Let's Encrypt. We'll go and check um, if, uh, if you actually own it by telling you like, hey, put this, if you really own this website, put this file in this part and then it'll create the certificate. Obviously, you don't have to do anything once you set it up. Kubernetes kind of like magically takes care of it. It also auto updates it and everything. So it's kind of like set and forget, which is awesome. And you can see it here. It just says for the first time only just do this. So you install the, your repos, then you install cert manager. And as I said, this is kind of like a recipe. It's all cooked in for you. You don't have to really add anything else. Um, and then in here, I'm creating the ingress. So in here, we're using Nginx, which if we go back here to our diagrams thing, uh, basically how it works here is it actually is integrated with AWS uh, load balancer and it will create the ingress pods that will take care of like terminating that SSL connection and do all that stuff and then route your stuff internally to your other services. So um, basically once you deploy that, it'll look like this. It'll just say not found with Nginx. So basically you're hitting the, the, your instance, but it didn't find anything internally because we haven't deployed anything yet. Um, so then we're installing that. And as I said, that creates a load balancer in AWS, uh, which is great because then you could have it like in uh, across multiple regions and stuff like that. And it will still hit it. Uh, then here we have like a get all services so we can see this, the services, uh, which is the last thing I ran. And basically this tells us like, Hey, you created your cert manager and your sub cert manager web hook. There's a Kubernetes, uh, default one. And then we created the Nginx controller, which is a load balancer, which is the external IP is this, which is just a AWS, um, IP address. And then it's open in port 80 and then this one, and then 443 and this one, which are the ports that you use for, uh, websites. And then you have your controller and that's kind of it. And then you have your internal DNS. So that's all we have done so far. Next thing we want to do is we're going to create a namespace for our application. I'm just calling it sample app. And then the next thing I'm going to do is deploy our Helm chart for the certificate that basically what it does, and I just started it. So it starts doing the whole process. It takes like a minute or two. Um, but basically what it is, is this folder over here called AWS certificate Helm chart. And if we see here, um, well, I did not copy the right value, so that's going to fail. And we can do a quick, um, we can do a Helm upgrade and it will upgrade the values. And here at the bottom, I'm just doing Helm upgrade. 
and then we'll update the values with the actual DNS that we want. So basically what this does is it creates the certificate. So we have our cluster issuer, which is just like it creates, this, it's the service that is in charge of creating the certificates. And you're telling it like, hey, here's an email and we're passing all the values. So anything you see kind of like very ugly with brackets and everything, it's coming from the values fan, which makes it super easier to just change something here and then you don't just have to change it everywhere. Uh, so for example, I put my email here and then it goes everywhere. And then, so you have your cluster issuer, basically you copy paste this, uh, you're telling it like, hey, like use Ingress, which is Nginx in our values. Um, we tell you where the certificate is for the email and all, all that stuff. So you have that, then you have the certificate itself. So you could have many certificates if you have many websites or stuff like that. And here you're saying, hey, I want this certificate, save it in this namespace um, with this name for this DNS. So in here, that's where we did like test1.codingflamingo.com and um, the certificate type which is just like the let's encrypt and then it's from cluster issuer which is the cluster issuer so we did that so that should create the certificate so if we do cpl get certificate you can see here it was created and it's ready so we have created the certificate two minutes ago so next thing we have to do is go back here we already created the namespace, we already created the certificate, and the certificate only gets created one time because after that it'll do it all in itself. Next thing we, so now if we go to uh, test one flamingo.com, oh, we haven't assigned it, but the certificate is there. So right now there is no certificate uh, because it hasn't been assigned to the ingress. So next thing we have to do is install the application. And so we're going to run this and now we can see that it got deployed. Um, and we can see kind of like the pods being created. So we can see here, okay, they're already running and you can see it's very fast. And I can go through what we did here. So we have the AWS Helm chart Flamingo and we're basically creating the ingress. So that's the Nginx saying like, hey, use this certificate from the certificate manager in this namespace with an Nginx for this DNS. So whenever you call to this DNS, so you can have multiple DNSs going to different places. So like if you call test1.codingflamingo.com, go to this application. If you call test2, go to this other application. And then in here, we're going to send it to a service, which is called sample app name, which we get from the value. So sample app name here, it's sample app and slash service in the namespace that we set. And it's a cluster IP service. And it goes to this port, which is just a random port. We created that it has to be in the uh, service. Sorry. So it's here and it's into this port to this application. Then we go back here to the service. And we can see it's a service, this exact same name in the exact same namespace in the port that we said, and then it goes to the target port of our application. In this case, I just used uh, for the application, I just used the, uh, like a sample application that it was in AWS um, public repositories. And I said it, that it has to be in port 80. Uh, I set this random uh, memory and CPU requirements. And as I said, the, the front, front end port is just random. And then the 80 is where like the container is open. So now if we go back to our application, we can see the, that the game is there. Um, unfortunately, Chrome, uh, so now we can see the application is there. You can play uh, this game, which I don't know how to play it. Um, and you can see that the certificate is there. So that's how you deploy your application into EKS with a TLS certificate. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.